Hello guys, welcome to Tech Design. Hope everyone is doing great. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can make this uh, universal joint part one. So uh, I am going to show you how we can make a modeling of this, and then uh, I'm, I will be taking another parts in uh, different different videos, and then at the final video, I am going to make it as a assembly. So hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. So I am have upgraded uh, my NX version uh, to my latest version. So so we will be uploading the videos from today uh, with the latest version of uh, nx guys so hope you will enjoy this video please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and let's get started So now hit uh, new so we'll create a first part so I'll just give part one here and this should be saved in one of the local drive so let me go to here and create a new folder I'll just give joint and I'll be saving this in joint so this is a first part so I'll just click OK so as you can see here this is our 3d workbench so now what i will do is i will just go to quickly into a sketcher environment so this is my sketcher environment and i am going to select this plane so and i'll just click ok so we are into uh, you know um, 2d sketcher environment i'll just switch off this uh, display auto dimensions that is not required for me so now what i will do is i'll just uh, draw a profile so just go and draw this similar profile so that okay so first we will draw the you know uh, this profile and later we can just uh, make dimensions so I'll just uh, hit T for uh, trimming okay these two are trimmed so now we need to provide some dimensions to this so let me give this dimension which is 170 by 2 170 by 2 okay let me fit this yeah okay so now uh, whatever uh, this dimension we have from here to here it will be 285 by 2 okay so let me keep it is inside and fit this okay now let me hit d for dimensioning and uh, whatever uh, this to this it is 16.2 okay and whatever this dimension it is 208.25 by 2 okay so now sketches with the two other dimensions so let me check which are the dimensions that we are not given so as you can see here this dimension is not given so this dimension is 7 mm so give 7 mm here and one more dimension is left so let me check this okay as you can see here this length we have not given so let me give this dimension as 27 okay so now as you can see here our sketch is fully constrained so this is my first sketch i'm going to finish it now and let me fit this now we need to revolve this so this is the latest version of nx so that is the reason these icons and everything will be changed so just go to revolve and uh, you as you can see here as soon as you give revolve the whatever the sketch we have created it is automatically selected maybe this is a new you know uh, version of update so i have selected this uh, vector now we can see here uh, this is our model so this is my first sketch on uh, this you know first revolve on this model okay so now what i'll do is i'll just make go to the same plane so go to sketch environment on this plane now again sorry reset this and select this plane okay click ok so now what i'll do is i'll just make one more uh, you know uh, sketch over here so i'll just go to draw two lines here so these are the two lines okay so the distance between these two will be 29.70 okay and whatever the distance from here to this edge 
it is so this is 72.29 okay so now what i will do is i will just going to draw an arc here so go to an arc so this is a three point arc so from this point to this point there is an arc so which may not be a you know tangent to here so just forget about the tangency and also i will just draw a line here as well okay let me switch on these okay face is hidden so i'll just give like this now as of now so now let me give some dimensions to this arcs as well so hit d and whatever this radius okay we outer radius we have so just delete this and this radius is this is 156.75 okay same way uh, to do this as well so this is uh, you know um, so these two should be concentric so press D for uh, geometric constraints so we can just go to concentric and make these two concentric sorry guys so we have to give this and remove this and here we have to give this okay so now what i'll do is i'll just draw a line here so this is my line and i'm going to extend this with e command okay now let me trim this extra line so now as you can see here uh, these two are concentric make sure that these two are concentric to each other and now i will i'll just uh, close this go to line and close this line so let me trim the extra lines okay And apart from this, uh, we have uh, a dimension here. So between this point to this x-axis, it is 313.5 by 2. Okay. So now as you can see here, sketch is fully constrained with 5 auto dimensions. So let me see what are those as you can see here. So these are moving. So let me give this dimension here. Go to this and between this to this. 104.13 and also these points should lie on this uh, uh, line so press c and point on line so this point should be on this line okay so now as you can see here three more dimensions are required so let us see what are those dimensions so as you can see here uh, this dimension is also missing here so now what i have to do is i have to queue constraint here so vertical alignment so these two should be vertically aligned so now as you can see here two dimensions are left so as you can see this is also not defined so this is uh, let me go to dimensions so from this point to this point it is 212.63 okay so now we are left with only one dimension so let me check that dimension which is I think uh, because of this point we have um, you know that uh, whatever uh, dimension auto dimension so let me delete this so now let me switch on this okay as you can see here this radius is not given so let me give this radius as well I think we have made a concentric to this then you should not ask for the radius okay this is already there okay yeah control Z so as you can see here this dimension whatever we have given it is removed so let me give this dimension now so then it will be completely constrained so this dimension is 29.70 okay so now as you can see here our sketch is fully constrained so we can just finish the sketch and i just wanted to make a revolve for this go to revolve and select the sketch and my vector will be along this direction so now as you can see here our profile has come so let me click we can just make a unite of this so boolean operation unite with this body and just click okay 
So now as you can see here, this is our uh, model. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to an uh, plane here, sketch plane. Okay. And here I'm going to draw one um, sketch. So let me go and draw a circle here. So this is a circle with a diameter of 153. Okay. Let me hide this. And I wanted to make this you know, uh, a point on a line. So this point should lie on this x-axis. Okay. And there is a distance. So from this to this point, it is 160. Okay. And now what I'll do is I'll just draw an uh, arc here. Sorry. I'll just draw a tangency line. So go to tangency line and draw a line here okay and now whatever this dimension is there from here to here it is 7 mm so let me go to dimension and give this as a 7 mm okay so the same thing i am going to do it on the other side as well we can just go to mirror here and select this my center line will be this and you can just click okay and uh, now what i'll do is i'll just uh, you know in order to we need to remove the material so for that i'm just going to close this profile so here you can just see how i'm just closing this profile you can just make a boundary so that it will close okay so now as you can see here it is completely closed so now we'll just finish the sketch and now let me remove the material so here what i'll do is i'll just go to and uh, extrude and okay let me deselect this extrude and now i wanted to select the curves so i'll just hit a single yeah single curve and stop at intersection so these are the curve that i'm going to select keep it as one mm in order to easily select the okay so i have selected this now okay now let me give it as 50 mm value and this should be symmetric make it as a 50 mm okay let me give more than that 50 is not sufficient so we'll just okay, as you can see here i uh, given 690 so you can just make sure that it will be removed from the you now body and you can just click OK. Okay, so now uh, keep all these diamond you know, sketches as it is so we can use them in the future. So now what I will do is I will just go to again sketch and moment on uh, this plane. Okay, this plane, click OK. So I'm going to draw a simple rectangle here. Go to rectangle and draw this rectangle. Okay. So now, uh, so now what I'll do is I'll just uh, make a horizontal alignment with this center line. So I'll just click C and then go to this vertical alignment. So this center should be aligned with this. Okay. And now what I'll do is I'll just give some dimensions here okay so let me go to dimension and hit d and this is 8.40 and then from this point so now we need a point over here okay so let me go to curve intersection point so yeah here is the intersection point so i'm going to select this and i'll just click ok so now we got the intersection point over here and now let me give a dimension so from this point to this point it is seven okay and now we have this dimension so this dimension is 44.55 okay so sketch is fully constrained now as you can see here so now what I will do is the same whatever the profile we need on this side as well. So what I will do is I will just go to mirror and select these curves. 
center line so this is my center line as you can see here you can just click okay so this is you know a mirror constraint so if you want to you know delete uh, this parent uh, without deleting this parent uh, this whatever the created one so you can directly uh, you know delete first this constraint okay we already discussed this okay let me finish this sketch so now what i will do is i will just make uh, so now what i will do is i will just you know um, uh, revolve this so go to revolve and select this sketch and now it is asking for a vector so vector is along this direction and my point of rotation will be this okay so now as you can see it is rotated and we just need to remove this material so i given the subtract and i will just click okay so now as you can see here this is the profile that we need okay so now in the same way what i will do is i will just go to sketch and moment on this plane i will just click okay so here what i will do is I'll just draw a simple rectangle over here as well. So this is my simple rectangle. Okay. So let me give some dimensions to this. So this dimension is uh, sixty-eight point eight five. Sorry, sixty-eight point eight five. Okay. And now let me give this dimension from this to this center line. It is. 40 uh, 40.5 divided by 2 okay now so and now what i will do is i will just make this point and whatever the sketch point coincide each other so let me go to coincide and here is point to point coincide so this point should lie on this point okay so now as you can see our sketch is fully constrained so we just need to mirror this sketch so go to mirror curve and select this curve my center line will be this and you can just click ok ok finish the sketch so now we need this uh, profile to be revolved so let me go to revolve and uh, it's already selected so now it should be revolved along uh, and just provide it here and then it is asking for a specify the point so now my our point will be this because along this direction it has to be you know uh, revolved and it should be united with the body and just click ok so let me hide the sketch these sketches are not required now okay yeah so now i'm, I'm going to make uh, you know chamfer here so go to chamfer and hit offset and angle so this offset is 1.75 and angle is 45 degree so just select this and this just click ok so now what I will do is I will just go to sketch environment on uh, this plane. So go to sketch and select this and you can just click OK. Okay. So I will just select this. Okay. So now what I will do is I will just uh, make a circle here. So let me give dimensions later. So this is one circle and this is a circle with a 21 diameter. Okay. And let us press C and point on a curve so this point should be on this curve and this curve should be you know uh, made made it as a construction line okay and then we have a line here so which is you know joining these two lines and this is also make it as a con uh, you know uh, construction line so now we have uh, you know angle here so just give angular dimension d and you can select this and this x axis so this should be 23 degree so now we need to pattern this curve whatever the circle we have so let me go to pattern and select this circular pattern and i'm going to pattern this circle and the point will be this center point and now what are the dimensions so we have a count and span so let me give count so how many counts we have so eight counts are required so these are the eight counts and span angle so span angle will be 45 degree okay okay so no sorry pitch pitch and count and pitch so count is uh, eight and pitch should be 45 okay so now as you can see we got uh, eight circles you can just click okay so now finish the sketch and we just need to remove the material so go to extrude and select this sketch make it as uh, 
opposite direction so okay and we don't want this much so let's give 50 and it should be subtracted from the body click ok ok guys there is a one more uh, dimension we are missing so let's go to here this circle is not defined so let us give the dimension what is the dimension for that it is 122.5 so go to dimensions and this is 122.5 multiply by 2 okay so now as you can see here the circles are moved up away so you can just finish the sketch so now it is perfect and now as you can see here our sketch you know whatever the model we have removed it is touching this face so let me reduce the value here and give 25 and just click ok now we are left with the last feature so let me go to you know sketch on this face and you can just click ok now go to rectangle and draw a rectangle over here so it should be yeah so center line we just don't need okay now let me give uh, symmetric okay symmetric yeah so this this should be symmetric to this and now let me give a dimensions here so this dimension is 40 okay that's all we our sketch is fully constrained now so now we can just uh, okay guys this is not until this so let me delete this and inside point on a curves where is the point on curve okay you can just delete this we just need to draw a circle here so this circle okay and let us make the circle as construction line and whatever this point should lie on this circle so this point should be lying on this circle okay so now also same thing we have to do it here point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve okay so now our sketch is fully constrained we can just finish the sketch and we have to extrude this so let me go to extrude and select this sketch and the value should be 15 mm and it should be united with a body okay and just click ok okay so now as you can see we can just hit ctrl w and hide everything and show only solid bodies and just click ok so now as you can see this is our uh, you know first model part one i'll just save this as a part one for uh, universal joint 